Good morning, H3 Cruisers. It is day four, and I want to show you the view. I know it's loud out here, so this is our view as of right now. We are coming into Progresso. We're not that far off the coast, as you can see, we're moving pretty slow. But as far as today, we have food, we have Mayan ruins, we have the caves, we have the uh, lazy river through the jungle. It's it's not like a really long lazy river as far as what I've seen, but it's still going to be absolutely fun And we're going to bring you along. It is 747 and we got to be at the pier at 930 at 930 today <laughs> Hi. Hi. Decided to come along? Huh? Not a laundry room. Oh, still going to the laundry room? Right. I'll see you up top. Don't drop your card. That's, that's important. Love you too. Wheel. I'm heading up to the bridge area. Above the bridge. Um, so that way. I can get you some footage this morning coming into Progresso. I am being quiet because um, it's early and uh, I don't know who's asleep and who's not. So I'm trying not to talk really loud. But uh, off we go down the long hallways. Clothes drying, especially our swimwear. Uh, swimwear is 
Oh, uh, somewhere it's not in the dryer? You said that after I checked the laundry. It said you had another pair of shorts though. Oh. I just okay. held damn baby. So this is the laundry room. You gotta get coins to use them, quarters. You can go to front is... desk and they will charge you for the quarters and give you bags for a quarter. So um, it is pricey to use these, but it, it, it does the job. It's just a little pricey. So we're in a bit of a hurry. It is 9.18 and we gotta be at the end of the pier by 9.30. Uh, I was trying to grab a banana, but there was no bananas available. Just something to settle my stomach, but uh, now I'm just sharing a burrito with uh, the queen here. So, let's see. Breast down, head down. Let's get to our excursion because we are cutting close on time. Made it off the ship. We have. Uh, Eight minutes to get down to the end of the uh, pier, so I'm pretty sure it's this pier, not way the, the heck down there, so we should be good. But we're on our way, got our tickets in hand, and we're gonna have fun because we are doing lazy river tubing, cavern swim, and Maya Pond ruins. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today, uh, get to experience something we haven't yet and hey guess what our balcony is around the corner on here water slide actually comes over the edge crazy all right what are you most excited for uh, mm. the ruins the ruins not the swimming in the cave that, I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the cavern swim. I'm excited to show you history, that. history, like, you know, it's like you're gonna see where the, that doesn't exist anymore. You're going to see where, you know, people you were sacrificed. sacrificed. Yes, you're going to see where people were sacrificed. <laughs> so, let's get to it. Let's have some fun. Let's enjoy the day. I forgot my hat, so my hair is going to be blown all over the place. It's going to be fun. Oops. Oh, well. But, yeah, we're on our way. <laughs> Buy something and know what is included, what is not. It's great. That means you trust. And we need more people. Yes, like that. Trust each other with a better world. Don't you think so? Yes. Yes, definitely. So that's why I'm here. I'm gonna tell you step by step what we're going to do. In Mexico, finally, after one week ago, finally, we're so happy about this because one week ago, finally, in this beautiful state of Yucatan, we don't need to use any more the face mask. We are still speaking the Maya language. You listen to me talking to Arturo or the bus driver, we mix some Mayan words with Spanish. <laughs> so sometimes, even though you know perfect Spanish, it will be kind of hard to understand everything that we say. Well, now I will teach you this one. We are going in that direction. We are going to go all the way where, where you see that huge pyramid okay. right over there. We have one avocado tree over there. If you're lucky, we will see some avocados. And uh, the word to say, let's go, in my language we say, C-O-O-N-E-X, letter X sounds like S-H, like shh, konesh, konesh, let's go.
Now the Mayan ruins here are some of the only actually last ones where you can actually climb up to the top. Yes, I absolutely am. Where all these people are currently trying to climb up and down. You could uh, crawl, you could sit and move your way down, however you want to do it. Good doggy crawl <laughs> all the way down. That's what you think like. We're gonna head right up to the top up there. So we made it to the top. Doggy crawled all the way up. Took about 45 seconds. But definitely worn out. But I want to show you guys the amazing view. First, what do you think about the view? So let's take a look at this view from up here on top of this towering pyramid. I think this is a bad time to ask for an elevator or an escalator. No. This is very steep. Air dropping that stuff would be a nightmare. Uh, I am going down very slowly, step by step, sideways. There we go. Just one step at a time and one hand. Move the hand. Step, step, step. Oh, hand, step, step, step. That's how you get down. But it's a beautiful view. Absolutely gorgeous. If this was raining, I don't think we would go up. <laughs> I'd be like, nah, I'm good. But if it started raining when we were up there, I would not be coming down. I'd be like, well, I guess uh, the ship is going to have to wait a day. And it gets steeper right about there. The last few steps are the steepest. Well, I'm gonna get down there. Uh, it took us about 30 seconds to get up and about four and a half minutes to get down. Um, didn't realize how humid it was until we climbed down. It was a lot of fun, um, scary. And I'm kind of curious at how much I just recorded in hyperspeed and now it's just useless. You're gonna see like hyperspeed, like, oh yeah, look. <laughs> Here's the view. Yeah, just pretty much like that. Um, other than that, this place is absolutely amazing. A little piece of history. She's going to stay away from the jungle so she doesn't have to wrestle a jaguar. Or puma. Or puma. This is absolutely gorgeous. If you get a chance to do this excursion, definitely do it. Uh, don't be afraid to climb up, just be afraid to climb down. That, that was pretty scary. Uh, and other than that, I'll try to make sure I don't film any more hyperlapse videos on accident. Well, that is it for the Mayan ruins. Um, had fun. Definitely a workout climbing up that uh, 
the pyramid and uh, the real workout was climbing down it. If you can, do it. If you question your ability to get back down, don't go up. That's my only recommendation. Uh, but now we are on to the lazy river tubing, more like lazy river floating because we're not using tubes. Um, but we're gonna do the lazy river and then we are gonna do the swimming in the caverns and then we are gonna have lunch, which I'm excited about. I wish I had more time here, man. That was enough time. That is uh, one downside is it, this is very far from the port. Um, so our time here is very limited. At least uh, we got to climb the ruin. Yeah, we did get to climb the ruins. Uh, but other than that, the time here is very short. Uh, so make use of what time you do get if you come down here. But we're heading back to the bus and we'll be heading on to our next uh, stop. Get those armpits. Not too bad. Get the beers. Oh. oh, I think I broke out. Oh, uh -oh. that clip. It's that I'm too big.
definitely could not do this without a life vest. I'm not good at the swimming. So, a lot are saying this water is cold. This water feels really nice to me, personally. Uh, I feel like Cowabunga Bay has colder water than this at times in Vegas. But check out how beautiful this is. The swimming in the caves. And let me show you. But uh, it feels nice to me. This feels relaxing, especially with the life vest. Just kind of float. I don't know how I feel about the strap under my legs. Though. This is amazing. Lunch. It's absolutely included unless you order a margarita Carlota, which we ordered uh, as eight bucks a uh, person. But uh, I got more on my plate than her right now, so that's what we got. Uh, cheers. I like it. Very sweet. Very good. Definitely order one. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the food? That's thumbs up. Thumbs up is good. Food, thumbs up, good. It's either good or bad, and we're, we're giving a thumbs up. It could be meal. It, it could be meal. <laughs> but how often on an excursion have you had a meal? I've had a couple. A lot. I feel like it's been more. Yeah. <laughs> more down than middle, but still gotta eat this. Um, food's absolutely amazing. So after a long day here in Progresso, we had an amazing day. We did the um, Mayan Ruins, we did the Lazy River float, and then we swam in uh, natural caves, which is cool because you could look under the water and it was so deep. Uh, the sad part is my camera couldn't catch anything in the caves because it was so dark, just couldn't see, but we ended it with uh, an amazing lunch. It was tasty. Tacos, empanadas, I had habanero sauce on my uh, yo tacos because I love habanero sauce. I put that on everything. If I could, I would. She's, she put the red sauce. And then we had the uh, Margarita Carlotas. Uh, those were tasty. They were eight bucks a piece. Um, tasty. And they're made with uh, ingredients only grown here. Made with ingredients only grown here. They were absolutely amazing. Um, other than that, we're ready to head back to the ship. We're gonna get dressed because tonight is the Halloween costume night. Um, so we gotta take a shower. We gotta shower, get clean, get our Halloween costumes after dinner because I can't wear my Halloween costume to dinner. It just doesn't we work. Have to go to dinner. We're gonna go to dinner. It's at six o'clock. It's only two now. It's four hours till dinner. We're going to dinner. Din dinner is like a must. I, I need a full three-course meal. 
So uh, it is time to go and get some drinks. Uh, I'm going to have a Twilight Zone. And if you're wondering what that weird sound is, and wondering why I have what looks like reins around my neck, this is why. I'm riding a Velociraptor. <laughs> so it's time to depart and Red here wanted to see you sail away. We were going to go up to the bridge but I think Sandra wants to get in her costume but Red here he's uh, overwatching everyone working out. It's time for Carnival Ecstasy's final departure from Progresso, never to see this port again. That's our cabin steward right there. Wackling from Dino Butt. It's quite fun in a hallway. Red likes it. Okay, Red likes the hallway. He's standing patrol. I gotta keep him calm though so he doesn't try to eat people down the hallway. So I have to say, standing in the hallway and watching people walk up to the room and look over in the awkward silence is great. It's 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 absolutely great. And then sometimes I back up and look at people down this hallway. Like him. <laughs> he turned around real quick like ah, I'm not even gonna acknowledge the dinosaur at the end of the hallway. Well Red's hungry and we're on Lido. Lido deck. There was one security officer that would not let him back on the ship. Sadly, he got eaten. <laughs> he might. He might. <laughs> he wants to know if he can have a drink. Here we go. <laughs> you know, the party's on the back of the ship, right? Do you serve dinosaurs? He says no, they don't serve dinosaurs. It's <laughs> closed. Oh, they don't serve when they're closed. Okay, got it. Alright. Red frog, here we come. It's a velociraptor. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It is a velociraptor. Yeah. It is. I'm not tall enough to ride a T-Rex. <laughs> So yeah, we're walking around with Red. Red is uh, being well behaved, to say the least. And Sandra here, there's Santa Claus. We found Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are gonna see a dinosaur. Red wants to say hi. He's got uh, Christmas wishes too. If you would come and stand by Santa, I would love to get a picture of us. We need uh, pictures. Creatures. Okay, let's see. Here you go, babe. Can you give me that? Red has Christmas wishes too, okay? He's pretty good today. It's got the rings. Right <laughs> Just like Rudolph. <laughs> uh, I think I got it. Oh, you're yeah. recording. Oh, you got video. Yes. Oh, did you like to get the picture? So, uh, Red finally got to meet oh, Santa Claus. I guess he's taking a video. And, uh, it's kind of good for a minute. How's the fun? Okay. It's fun. It's fun. Um, Walking around the very beautiful atrium here. Sometimes red just needs a monster. That, that's all. See? Red needs a monster too. It, it's, it's very important, and I need monster as well. Wow. 
Yeah, let's say trail. Time for a deck party and some changing of music. Well, H3 Cruisers, it is the very last day here on Carnival Ecstasy. Tomorrow morning we will be getting off this ship and it's going to be a sad departure. And now it is about, uh, I don't know, two something in the afternoon. I got to check in for my, it's 310, and I got to check in for my flights. My phone actually died. I kind of plugged that in. I have died right as I was about to check in for my flight tomorrow. But after today, no one will ever sail this ship again. It's a sad uh, fact. Sorry about shaking the camera there. Uh, but last night we had a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know where the footage stopped last night because uh, eventually we just stopped recording as we were running around with uh, Red. And uh, this one here enjoyed a lot of fun ships. A lot of fun ships. About nine of them yesterday, I think. And she had two drinks when we were at uh, or on the excursion. So essentially she had 11 drinks yesterday and I think she drank one of mine. Or did you have two of mine yesterday? Oh yeah, I finished your toilet zone in here. So she finished two of mine. So essentially 11, 12, 13. She had 13 drinks yesterday and we didn't record really any of them. The day we're not recording the drinks uh, we find that she has almost hit the uh, drink limit. Of course, the ones off the ship don't count. It's not a good idea, though. Yeah, it's it's not the best idea. Do you want to tell them why? I don't feel good. She does not feel good. Uh, she did fall about three times last night. Um, it, was, it was a rough night. It was a very rough night. But something that is actually really cool that I was excited to see get slid under the door we got carnival capers for the final enjoy your fa or fun farewell day at sea and it shows uh the original mardi gras there and then it says the carnival ecstasy team shows uh the captain hotel director chief engineer cruise director show times fun farewell with alex and the, today the clock turns back to 1987 i love throwback sea days and then you have the entire schedule for today on the Carnival Capers. How cool is that? Because it's been a long time since Carnival handed out a Carnival Capers. Let's take a look at the view today. This is our view. This is the last day we will ever see this view, ever, on this ship. Okay, so I absolutely love going to the dining room for dinner, especially on the last night. But dinner is at 6 o'clock, and I just did something and didn't look at the time. And that, my friends, is ordered room service. And it cost us $25 for this food. So needless to say, we're going to eat this. And we're going to be full, and we're not going to be able to go to dinner at 6. So... Looks like we're having room service for dinner tonight. And uh, yeah, enjoying the view. I uh, still got to clean, got to do packing and so much more. At least the ship tour is done. And uh, maybe I'll get some reading in or something. I don't know. But we got our flights tomorrow. It's a long next 24 hours from now. Because tomorrow at this time, we should be in the air almost to Vegas. So next 24 hours is gonna be crazy and, and sad and depressing but for now we're gonna eat up we're gonna enjoy our food she's enjoying her fries some garlic parmesan wings I have a tuna sandwich which I did not know they shoved tomatoes on I have to take that off I don't even remember lettuce being on that that must be with the charge now since you're paying for it they add extra stuff and then I got some chicken tenders and some curly fries, some ketchup and honey mustard sauce. So I'm gonna get to eating this, she's gonna eat, and then I don't know, we, we got a lot to pack up and do. So this may be the very end of what you see, it may not be. Guess we'll find out. 
Well, as I mentioned, we probably weren't really gonna do much today. We spent most of our time here in the room. We had that room service. We did get some pizza from up top and I did go and get our photos picked up, which I will be uploading to the Instagram. They're, at this point, they're already on the Instagram and also the Facebook page. But that is really it. It's just pretty much packing up, getting ready to leave in the morning, getting to bed early, waking up early, and hopefully some breakfast before getting off the ship. But considering that most of the bars and most of uh, the ship is running out of stuff because, you know, they only stocked it up to really kind of get to back to Mobile, I, I don't know how much we're going to have to eat in the morning. Uh, but that is it, guys. Completely it. Um, maybe I'll end this with a little time lapse taking off and flying or something I don't know but if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button hope you enjoyed the vlogs uh, I hope you know there was enough content in the vlogs for you guys uh, but we got to get back home we got work and kids to get to and I hope to be uploading some more content here in the near future for you guys and uh, hopefully you know just get some stuff going for you but that's it. I'll see you in the next vlog. Take care.